I am pretty much sure all of you would have heard about resonance, right? See, every body has a frequency known as natural frequency. This all of you know. If at all, I apply a force of another frequency, alright? By chance, if this natural frequency of the body and the applied forces frequency is same, the body, meaning the body on which we have applied the force, is going to move or oscillate with maximum amplitude. So this particular phenomenon is known as resonance. To give you a clearer idea, now assume there is a swing, alright? A swing, all of you would have known a swing, right? If at all, I apply a force with a frequency which is equal to the natural frequency of the swing, it is going to oscillate at the maximum amplitude. There is no other amplitude with which it can oscillate greater than this particular amplitude at resonance. So this is known as resonance and the frequency at which this particular phenomenon resonance occurs is known as resonant frequency. Now the same phenomenon occurs even in an AC voltage source also. Meaning in a circuit whenever we apply an AC voltage we see that there is maximum amplitude of current that is flowing through for a particular frequency of the applied voltage. So this particular frequency of the applied voltage is known as resonant frequency. In this video, we'll be seeing how to obtain resonant frequency for an LCR circuit. So let's get started. So how do you obtain the maximum amplitude of the current? Simple logic is that the resistance that is being provided or the impedance in an LCR circuit should be very much less, meaning the least. So for what value of the frequency the resistance is going to be least? After few experiments, what was observed is there is one particular frequency at which xc was equal to xl. So what they actually did was they varied the frequency of the applied voltage. They kept on varying it. So there was one particular frequency for which xc was equal to xl. Now if we consider the current equation, the amplitude of the current im is equal to vm divided by root of r square plus xc minus xl the whole square. Since xc minus xl will be equal to 0 because xc is equal to xl right therefore xc minus xl will be equal to 0 meaning the impedance is minimum at this particular point. What will happen to impedance? Z will be equal to capital R meaning it would become a completely resistive circuit. This frequency is known as resonant frequency. Now how will you obtain the resonant frequency? Since xc is equal to xl, what is xc? 1 by omega naught into c which is equal to omega naught into l. Omega naught is nothing but my resonant frequency. Therefore, I would rewrite omega naught to be equal to 1 by root of l into c. So omega naught is that frequency for which I will be obtaining the maximum amplitude of the current flowing in the LCR circuit.